All right, so um, do a nice quick video here since I'm still waiting on parts for other things. Uh, this is like a I wouldn't call it an arcade, you know, but just a like a rhythm game box thing I made for my kids. I made it out of an old Guitar Hero Live guitar. I took the parts off. I'm trying to get it here. Took the parts off. Made some holes. The board shows here. There's an on and off switch. You got your four buttons, plus I think like enter and whatever. Um, it winds up working well for Rock Band Unplugged, because I can do the four here and then left and right. And you know, so. It's just something I made pretty quick, because they were really big into Friday Night Funkin' when it was first out, and they were good at the keyboard and stuff, but I was like, hey man, like I know of these weird, you know, rhythm game box things, you know, pads, I don't know what you call them. But they're very similar to this with, like, potentiometers and dials and stuff and buttons. And I'm like, it would be the same thing to me, you know, for the four buttons. And then, you know, I don't know what the extra ones are for. But, uh, so what had happened was my daughter, she was only, like, two at the time, took this button and, and got that it, like, saw that it was loose or whatever and just started spinning it. So she spun all the wires around and got it wrapped up. That one ripped all the other wires out. So essentially, we're just going to be rewiring this thing to make it work. So let's do that. First off, we have to take all the LEDs out because I need to figure out what happened to all these wires and what wires go where. So I'm going to unravel this. Hmm, jeez. What'd you do, little girl? So there's a wire there that's bare. There's a wire there that's bare. These wires seem to be just ripped straight off the, uh... Let me tighten this real quick. How it got so loose, don't know. I'll tighten those down with a wrench later. Yeah, see this one, I can't even turn it, it's so tight. Alright, so the red one can go back on in a second. You know what I'm going to do? I'm honestly just going to unsolder all these real quick. Sometimes it's easier just to start fresh, if you will. Alright, so let's do this one for now. Uh, the common, yeah, you should just do everything. Say the commons too, but yeah. That's all. Right. I can always reuse that same common. Sometimes you gotta liven the old solder up. That's, uh, the colors won't matter what goes where because it's all going to get programmed in XPad or anyways. Like, I'm sure at the start there was some rhyme or reason to what I did, but it doesn't have to be, is all I'm saying. On today's episode of how Nick burns himself really badly with a soldering pen for being impatient. Alright, let me wipe this off. In fact, let me just bring that over here. Alright, so now I have my wires, kinda, sorta. These are my battery wires. I don't know why they're so, um, long. So let's do something. Let's cut this wire there. And let's cut it here. And let's fish this. Like how I just taped the board to the thing. Those are the battery wires. And while we do care about those, I don't care about them at this very moment. So as far as I can see, this one... It's just a bare wire. 
and that's my battery wire. That's my plus for my battery that goes here. There's my negative. Alright, so that's wired. Let's get all this untangled and unmangled. The green, I guess I'll have to undo the green too. Um, let's not cut it, let's just unsolder it so I can re-solder that back. Okay, and I see that the yellow is just extra long, so I'll leave that. Okay. Ah, okay, so this should go there. So I need to solder these two together and get some heat shrink. Finally brought my wire cutters back from work. Oh, uh, yes. The tiniest piece of solder. And pardon... No, you know what? I guess I don't even have to do it. Let's say I don't have um, my heat gun readily available. Even though I have it right in front of me. So never mind. I was going to use a lighter. But that's cool. Dang, that wire's really thin. So this is pretty much just how I fix things on a normal basis. I assess the damage. And I come back. Um, let's say, you know what I should have done? Yeah, I shouldn't have tinned that. Dang it. Whatever. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to braid the wires together and then tin them. Because then you're really just soldering to get them together at that point. But what I can do... Is I can twist them like this to each other. Nope. It's not worth it. I will just... Solder them together. Like this. Do 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 do. Dude. Man. Usually what you can do too, if it's still hot, you can kind of melt some of the, I wouldn't say melt, but you can heat some of the heat shrink down. I'll leave that for now, I'll grab the gun in a minute. But that one's good. This one over here is not good. This needs a green wire. I wonder why I made all the wires so like extra long with this ribbon cable that I used. Because that's seemingly what the problem is. Although at the same time, it's kind of what saved it from getting more damaged when all the wires were wrapped around everything. All right, now let's put this green wire back. These are all my commons. I would like to get those untangled from everything else. Here's my blue, my purple and gray. So then is that going to be enough? Yeah, I guess, because I'll have a white, a gray, a purple, and a blue, or whichever order I choose it to do it in. And if I remember this correctly, it goes blue. Yellow, sorry, blue, The knockout I used too, I believe, is bigger than the hole, so I had to use a gauge 
when I was putting the switches in originally. And since everything's so loose, I'm most likely going to epoxy these switches and just saying. So this doesn't happen again. But for now, let's just I just want to wire it and make sure it all works. You know what? I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Alright, so I guess I'm using the common as this one up here. That's enough. Right? Yep, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Let's get all my commons on. Um, no, it's always really smart. Mo, I touched the first terminal with my freaking ring finger. Come on, I'm going in dry. Please work. Where's that last one at? Um, I don't know what this is, but let's get it off. I'm not about to melt this wire. I'm good. I'm not changing it. Alright, so the commons are on. Now I'll just do in order of what seems right these. And I'll leave them this long, I guess. Although I don't like it that long. And we're gonna shorten them up. Sometimes I'll fold the wires back on themselves. Make sure I'm not touching anything. If your joints ever look like they're not, like, melted together and they're just sitting, like, one sitting on top of the other, I would recommend to redo it. That's what just happened there. It looked like it was good, but it also kind of looked like a cold solder joint. And we want to avoid those. Because those, when not done properly, aren't really joints at all. So generally, bend this back, put it on top of the wire, I'll just melt in. Okay. Next wire, we're going to do gray. Not looking for anything perfect, just good enough. So, put that up. Start burning myself. Good enough. Purple blast. Then I guess just put the battery wires in to the switch and then also to the battery. And then we test it. 
And we'll just test it in Rock Band Unplugged, like I said. I did debate on putting a fifth button. Or really what I was going to do is I was going to put six buttons. I was going to put another one on either side. That way, um, for like Guitar Hero, I could do it. And then it's not really that weird because it's not five buttons. It's just six. And then I only am using five. If that makes sense. Like for symmetricalness. Instead of like a fifth button over here. Or a fifth button over here. Just one extra on each side. Alright, so all these look good. Those are all tight and good. This one... That's it's gonna be kind of awkward to do. Cause I have to do it left-handed. But Alright, see? That's good. And then this white goes to here, and then that black goes to there. So we'll separate them just a little bit, about there. This one I'll flip for sure on itself, just obviously your wires only is good as um, your gauge overall. But it just adds some strength when you do it this way. Gives us some girth to hold on to. And then I don't remember if I just soldered right onto here with all this other junk. Most likely. And then what I'll do is I'll come back with a nice glob. Just to really get in there. And I know I'm good. Alright, and then now our battery plus. I think we're good. Put the batteries back in. And I'll do like a, a little overview of this because... I think it's quirky. I mean, come on, I made this for my kids in the garage and like two nights after work. The hardest part being cutting all the Lexon, which wound up in a way sucking because it all like broke and chipped and did what it's not supposed to do. All right. I see that there's like a big glob of solder there, but I have to solder on this part of it. So that's what I'm getting. All right, let's move this over, let's flip this, let's get some batteries, oh hey look what's right here, get some batteries, put the cover back on it, it's funny because I actually cut the guitar body out for the batteries, um, switch on, and there we go. I just need to connect it to the computer. Yeah, you see how the spacing isn't the same? That's really, again, because I had a gauge of some sort originally. But I'll figure something out to make them all straight and tight. I think what the problem is is that this stuff is just very like perfectly parallel and also just um what's word like like shiny, glossy, smooth. So it just I don't know, it do, things don't screw to it well, I guess is what I'm saying. But all right. So let's do like a quick overview of this thing, just, you know, showing an up close of it all, and uh, then we'll test it. Alright, so yeah, like I said, I just taped the original board in here, and I believe I cut some of the, the circuit board off and just put it so you could see the lights there. The rest would have been, you know, whatever else is on the board. 
like the I believe the like select and start and stuff here I just measured out the center and cut two holes for these so you still have a d-pad and you still have this which is actually kind of cool because when I, we hook it up to the computer I usually use this as like a mouse control and then I believe this button or one of these buttons is the um, mouse clicker again I threw the battery cover from the Guitar Hero Live guitar in here. The on and off switch I got from work. I just drew on and off so I would know. And then, yeah, and then these arcade buttons, they're pretty cheap on Amazon, and they're actually really nice. I have quite a lot of them. I think they're like 20 bucks for a 20-pack or something like that, so they're about a dollar a piece. But uh, no rhyme or reason to the colors. I just kind of wanted to... Throw some colors on here. And that's really what they come with, I think, is these four and the whites. So that's what I wound up using. So, uh, yeah, I need to cover this back up. I need to put the front and the bottom back on. And then I'll hook it up to the computer, and we can test. Alright, so I don't play this very often, and it may suck. But we'll see. I just, I suck. But also maybe some lag, I don't know. playing on hard so it's a little slow That's where it starts to get a little much. <laughs> it's doable, but you have to pick like specific songs where this isn't going to be an issue.
I give up. But cool. You get the point. Alright, so for anyone who's still here, or cheated and went just to the end, this is a sneak peek of a really big project I've been working on. Um, I'm just too excited to kind of keep it a secret any longer, but I guess I'll keep it a secret by keeping it hidden in um, a video. And I'll show a quick picture of what it looks like with the Nexon. And uh, also I did the backs today, that you know, made the backs for these, and then wiring soon, and then I just gotta do some body work and make it look all nice.